Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Jackson, if you'll go, when you put that up there, turn that TV off, that'll be helpful. Um, We're in the kitchen. It is Thursday the 13th, Thursday the 13th. And um, today was a, our board, the board at school had emergency board meeting yesterday and they made today and tomorrow um, mandatory teacher work days, no students in the building. Um, and then we're off on Monday. So, um, I went into my office this morning, but it is 5.08 and I have to be out of here by 6.15. I've got band practice tonight. So I'm going to be making some couple things in the kitchen. We've got some pork chops we need to cook. I'm going to be making a, a couple of smaller loaves of the egg bread The Indigo Neely has been sharing. Um, we've got some food stuffs here. We need to figure out what is happening or what we're doing. Oh, this is coconut milk, right? That can go in the um, yeah, in the um thing in there. Yeah. What is this? Chicken? Butter chicken. That could be eaten. Let's let's finish this up. Um. Okay. So we're gonna go through. So the kids are gonna go through that. I'm gonna get the bread working because it does take a little bit of time to. I'll get it whipped up. We got the oven preheating to 325. Because um, this is all we have left of the, the loaf we made. This is our second loaf, right, Jack? What I'm trying to do is make some of the power flour. So I'm going to make a couple small loaves so that I can toast one or dry it out. So that I can make the power flour. Because I want to make the um, waffles from Carnivore Angel. And the only way to do that is to make an extra loaf of bread so that I can um, ground it up, ground it up, and make uh, um, the flour. So I'm gonna put you guys up on a tripod. You all can hang out with us. I've got some greens I'm gonna put on, and I got a ham I'm gonna break down. A friend of mine brought over a ham from Costco. She comes over on Sundays and have dinner with us, but she came Saturday this past week. She brought two chickens. And then she was like, well, I brought this ham too. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, wow, that was that was a blessing. So one of the things I want to share with people is whatever your needs are, God already knows what they are, right? Now, the kids and I don't need food in this house. We, we I've, I have plenty of food. I know how to get food in here. But Ephesians 3, 20 and 21 says, now unto him who is able to do, thank you. That was a, an agreement. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think. I have enough food. God is into more than enough. So he's provided the ham. It's a half a spiral ham, which will probably be enough meals for us for a few, for a little while. It'll be enough for sandwiches. I'm getting ready to make egg bread. We'll be able to have some sandwiches. And um, I'm actually going to make also a cheese sauce. I found a vegan cheese sauce on, where did I find it? just on the internet i don't remember where but i'm gonna give it a try it does not have any nuts in it at all so i'm gonna try to make like a queso dip so we'll see how that goes but again i'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod and we're gonna start doing some stuff in this kitchen all righty you guys so i have uh we whipped up the egg white bread uh, we did the five minutes and we used an indigo neely's recipe it seemed to work fine for what we needed it so far I did add in the egg, whole egg yolk powder. So I've got my two pans lined. And I'm going to make shorter loaves. Or smaller ones, just so... Uh, the last ones we, we've done, they've kind of fallen out of the, risen above the pan. So I just want to make sure that um, this doesn't rise above the pan. But I want to go ahead and get it in so that um, it can go ahead and get started cooking. Alana, come hold this a second. Hold what work? This um, parchment paper. So I'm going to do equal amounts. Now again, you're working quickly with this batter. 
don't have Jackson in here to help. And mine aren't staying like hers do. Got it all in to all the corners. So we're going to try to do this again for the 40 minutes. We did the bigger row for 45 minutes, so maybe we'll do 35 and see where we are. Let's do 35 minutes and see. Okay, y'all, I need this to go in. Five minutes, 325, we'll see what we got. I don't know what I was saying, but we need to get the, the greens washed. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna make a cheese sauce. This is a easy vegan cheese sauce. I'm gonna put it close so you can see where it came from. Easy vegan cheese sauce. This came from, oh, here. EllaVegan.com. There, let me see. EllaVegan.com. That's not helpful, I know. Okay. E L A V E G A N.com. It's um, easy cheese sauce. It takes a couple of ingredients. Just a couple of ingredients. It takes three quarters cup of coconut milk, three tablespoons nutritional yeast, two tablespoons of tapioca or arrowroot starch. I'm not using either of those. I'm gonna use xanthan gum because I have it and because the others will put a lot of um, carbs and I don't want a lot of carbs. Let me turn these pork chops over. And then um, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. I'm actually going to use a taco seasoning packet in there. So I'm just going to, because we're going to do a nacho cheese. So I'm just going to use a taco seasoning packet. Um, nutrition yeast. And then we're going to add in some green chili, some diced green chili, and some uh, diced tomatoes if we want. That's why I need a whisk. Okay, this is the Goya coconut milk. Jackson, come open this. Three quarters of a cup. I'm gonna put this on a low heat because I don't want it to cook too fast. 
And then the rest of the coconut milk, I'm just gonna put in here. Sorry, y'all can't see my face, I apologize. But the recipe is important, not my face. Jackson, come in. Uh, let's move these pork chops around a little. Yes. We can get one more in here. Get one more pork chop in here. Look at them and see. Okay, I'm gonna grab a whisk real quick. And then you know what, Jack? Go ahead and grab a um, grab a glass pan. So we can put them in the oven and we'll make like a solid leaf and we'll have the solid leaves and we'll do it in the fridge. In the bottom of the fridge, we'll use it and it'll be in the It may not be the exact solid leaves. It's in the bottom of the fridge. There's a glass pan, I think, here. Yeah. Did I miss one? Maybe. See if that one might be big enough. It may not be. You may need the bigger one. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay, I do have some of the Walmart nutritional yeast. But for some reason, that doesn't have a really cheesy flavor. So, of course, we're trying to mimic cheese, right? One of the things I don't like about, you know, alternative foods is it's not what the food is. So, you know, you're trying your best to make it be that thing. So this calls for three tablespoons. So I went to Walmart again and got the Red Star. We don't have the Bragg's. Um, one of my friends was saying the Bragg's nutritional yeast was good. We don't have that brand here. This is what we have, so we'll use what we have, but. Now that already looks, you know, it, it's not gonna be thick, thick. I'm actually gonna put some, um, xanthan gum in there to thicken it some. That's probably half a teaspoon. I have to do xanthan gum. I, I don't measure it out. I just kind of do it by feel. And then I just kind of stir, stir, stir until it gets a little thick, thicker. Get it so we can get the pork chops the other ones in. It looks cheesy. Careful now. And it is thick. It's thickening up, right? So that was enough uh, xanthan gum. I don't need any more of that. I am gonna add a ton, I'm gonna turn that down. I wanna turn it way down. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of this taco seasoning because we wanna make like a nacho sauce. I'm actually gonna turn that off for right this second. Put it there. 
Okay, three minutes. Easy sauce. Now I'm moving it off the heat. I don't want it to keep cooking until I get my other stuff in there, but I want to take a picture of that. Okay, these are only part cooked, not all the way cooked through, but we're going to cook them more in the um, oven. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these two out, throw them in this glass pan. And next time, if we just put some uh, foil down, that'll save the, the uh, washing. Hmm? Yeah. Well, it won't make it as messy. Gotta get it for the gram, y'all. Gotta get it for the gram. Uh, yes, love. Uh -huh. Oh, it's just because when grease is popping on the stove, you always have to keep it wiped off because if it catches, it's a it's a problem. You want to make sure that you always keep yeah keep the grease down, or that will cause a fire. One second, let me um get this open. Mm -hmm. What about it? Okay, these are diced cream chilies. I'm not going to put all of them in there, but I'm going to put a few and that is gonna help to um, loosen up the cheese sauce because it was a little bit um, thick and we didn't even put a lot of xanthan gum in there. And then I'm gonna put some of the taco seasoning. It called for chili powder, onion powder, salt, they should all be in here. All right. I'm gonna give everything a stir together. See what we looking like. Oh yeah. Are we here for it? We here for it. Do you want to cook over? Not yet. Put that in a small thing. Trash. Yeah, small bowl. Okay, we got about 19 minutes on the egg bread. I'm going to check it and see what we're looking at. Oh, yeah, it's rising up nice, but not out of the pan. Like the other one was just gigantic. So I'm gonna get cleaned up here and we're gonna get straightened up a little bit. And I'm gonna let Jackson taste these to see what he thinks. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I did not have enough time to finish up the vlog yesterday, but that's okay, because we're still in our kitchen. We're still cooking. But I wanted to share this with you guys. Listen, so um, a company reached out to me. Uh, this is Parashone. Paris Rome, Paris Rome, right? I never can say that right. Paris Rome. <laughs> but they asked me if I would uh, preview their knife set. And I said, I absolutely would. This is their ABS double steel handle 
head handle 16 piece high carbon stainless steel knife set. Um, and the reason why we kind of had a need for some knives, we have some. Y'all remember me going to um, Walmart and buying the Farberware ones, but I got the, I didn't realize I had gotten a small one. And I was like, dang, man, it didn't have all the knives that we needed. And since we've been doing the egg bread, you know, uh, Indigo Neely had showed that egg bread. Since we've been doing that egg bread, I really, really do need um, additional knives. It's harder to cut. So um, I am going to pull this out and show you guys and kind of check these off so that you can see what is offered in here. I'm just throwing those things on the floor for now. My helper will be here. Um, so this is a knife block. Now I've had a, a, a knife block this big before. And then of course, you know, we um, got rid of that one because the knives were not. Oh, now, first of all, look at this. Okay, so this does tell you right on here. I've never had um, another knife block tell you that. It says, uh, reminder, do not put knives in the dishwasher to prevent rust. So that's good to know, right? Rust or ruptures, which do happen because sometimes they get waterlogged and the backs will bust and that your knife is not, not usable anymore. So that's good to know. And I do appreciate that. I've never seen that on another um, knife block before. The other thing that I will show you is this. They have the uh, knife sharpener right there. I've never had another knife block that has a built-in knife sharpener. So that's really helpful and handy. The wood color works out just fine. So I'm gonna go through. This is a pretty substantial box and show you what comes. Oh, and these are stainless steel. So like the, oh, nope, some of them are black. Did I see a stainless steel? No, maybe not. Okay. These are black handled, but the black handle, but the knife part is stainless steel. So it comes in good packaging. It has that uh, safety tip on the end. Y'all ignore my hands. I washed my hands so much today. I'm telling you right now. Um, the safety tip so nobody gets cut when you take these out of the box. So that's perfect. So I'm going to get this set up and then I'm going to tell you what each of these okay, you are. Guys, so I've got this set up now. It's Everything is in the blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 14 knives, there's one carving fork, and then there's a pair of scissors. So it's 16 pieces, but you get a, a carving fork that goes with your carving knife. So that, that's interesting. I've never gotten one of those before. So I'll tell you what knives come in this. You get a an eight inch chef's knife, a seven inch uh, Santoku knife. That is for mincing, dicing, and slicing. You get an eight inch carving knife, uh, you get a eight inch bread knife, a five inch utility knife, a five inch bread knife, which that has ridges like the regular bread knife. You get a five and a half inch boning knife, a three and a half inch paring knife. You get four and a half inch steak knife, a eight inch carving fork, kitchen scissors, and then the block with the sharpener, of course. So um, one thing that kind of impresses me I don't know if you can see, I don't know. Okay, that shows up a little bit. See that? That's just like detailed. I've never seen that in a knife before. Now I've seen these little rich things here, but I've never seen this amount of detail uh, in the knife. Their handles are very nice and uh, substantial. So of course, if you treat them well and you don't put them in the dishwasher, they should hold up for you nice, nicely. But um I'm excited to try these and see what, you know, see how they are because we've just had troubles trouble with knives in the in the in the past. So I'm excited to try these. I'm actually going to use the bread knife right now to uh, cut up our egg bread because I'm putting it in the oven to make some protein power flour. So anywho, you guys, there's going to be a, a link down in the description box below. Check it out if you're interested. Click on that link. Grab these knives. Lots of great features, in my opinion. All right, you guys. So I'm going to try this one knife. This is the bread knife. Of course, it has that serrated edge, which we did not have in the last set that we just got from Walmart, which was the Farberware. And immediately, the cutting is better. 
I mean, it's slicing through that like butter. I'm gonna let the kids slice it to see because they, they slice bread too. So I'm gonna let them see what they think and give you their opinion on it. Now remember, Alana is 17, so she does use knives. I'll just do one more slice. It is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jack, you can come try. And Jackson is 12, but mom is here, so I'll let him, you know, he does cook. He cooks here because that's mandatory. People got to know how to feed themselves. It is pretty good, though. You think so? It sliced is pretty good without mm -hmm. being like trying to. Because previously, because we did not have a bread knife, we were working hard. <laughs> Alana said we was doing like this. Chicken wings trying to you know trying to get the bread to cut but this goes right through and i made this bread last night so and we're going to put it on the um on the tray to dry so that we can put it in the um food processor so that we can make the uh, protein power flour and actually i'm going to pull this apart so you can actually see the bread so like Indigo Neely talks about, it has bubbles in it. You can see the bubbles and it feels nice and soft, but it's still wet. I can tell that it's wet inside. So it will have to go in the oven. I have my oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. We'll see how it does in 10 minutes. But, um, and, and remember I half the recipe and put, I, I made the full recipe, but I put half in one pan and one in the other pan. So it made the slices a little bit smaller. Get one of those other slices out, Alana, from the old one. So we made a different one and I'll show you comparatively when we put all of the bread into, I mean, all of the mix into one and it, um, how it raised up out of the pan. This one didn't raise up as much out of the pan. So see that difference right there. That's a difference. So anywho, I'm going to make these bread, uh, I'm going to get this dried out real quick and see how this power flower comes together so that's what i'm working on right now and actually i'm gonna see if i can slice all of these at one time let me let me see what i'm working with over here with these knives okay listen y'all know i don't tell nobody to buy nothing i don't that i don't believe in okay yeah don't cut them all at one time don't do that that would not be a good idea but they do cut very well so i'll do this gonna grab these and put them on you can't it's this it's the texture of this bread you got to do it one at a time but it still cuts no problem so I'm gonna get these cut put them dry on the um, parchment paper and they're going in the oven anyways um, I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do y'all might have to have another um, what is it sister what happened? Oh, I was trying to hmm? tell you that was there. No. So. No. Oh. Yes, lovely. Are you okay? The tray. That's trash bag. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to need another one just so that you can spread out a little bit. Other, we may have to use the other one and just make two more loaves. Because I don't know that this is going to be enough. Okay, let me have that other loaf as well. I don't think this is going to be enough. Because this is technically just half the recipe. So we need to make sure. Up 
No, you know, I'm gonna be so glad when you have a man. Why? Because he's gonna want to cook with you. With you? No, with you. You don't want to cook with me? He's better at it. How do you know? Some people don't know how to cook. They mama didn't teach them. Mom, that's the people these days, not the old people. Not the old people. Go ahead and sit. Not old people. Mine said the olden days. Wow, the olden days that have olden people. Wow. Well, I didn't say olden people. I said olden days. Or maybe his dad taught him. Maybe his mom didn't cook. Maybe not. Some men are really good cooks. They are. Like Gordon Ramsay. I don't know if he's a good cook or not. I don't know if he's just on TV. I don't mean nothing. I don't even taste it. Go ahead and spread those over there. But you still need to know how to do stuff. Mom's what show something? Is a show that people do on the web or something? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it like a good thing? Web show? Yes. Yeah, web where, shows. It's just where people are. People no, I mean, are they like internet. compared to regular TV? Or like, yeah. People don't really watch regular TV much because they're on the internet. Most people are, are just on the internet because that's what it is. It's just mm -hmm. different from regular mm -hmm. TV because... We're doing different stuff. We're web oriented, web based is what people do. And these are they will say. I just thought they were cold. I'm kind of in the camera's way. I'm just gonna Definitely pretty good knives. And I'm I'm proud of these bubbles over here. And once I figure out how they do cinnamon swirls, I'm gonna tweet the recipe. On what? In bread. How they do cinnamon swirls. You just put it in. I wonder how they do swirls. You, you take a toothpick. Mom, the swirl gets in the middle. You you take a toothpick and swirl it through the batter or a long pointy this. stick like a long chops not a chopstick but a skewer if your batter is thick but like how do they get to the middle you take the skewer you, you pour the batter in then you pour the cinnamon on top you take the skewer you stick it down and you run it like this and as you're making those designs it moves all around throughout the batter but you want to tell me I'm wrong. We got to make it all fit because I'm not putting a third pan in there. Am I making flour again, Mom? So I can make the waffles that I saw a uh, carnival angel made. Pizza angel? Oh, oh. Yeah. I don't think. Maybe you can, but you probably shouldn't. Let's not. Let's not. Okay. We'll do 10 minutes in the oven and see how we live in, in 10 minutes. Okay, we got that going in the oven for 10 minutes. 
While that's going, I'm gonna spray down this stove because my children do not believe in wiping off the stove, which makes my nerves bad because I tell them quite often to wipe the stove off. But as we can tell, they don't quite often listen. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get cleaned up here just a little bit. And I'm actually gonna get prepared to make another batch of the egg bread because we've used what we made yesterday. Okay, you guys, so here is what they look like just coming out. They're all dry now. We ended up having to do about 20 minutes, but I alternated the shelving because my long pan can only fit sideways. So I alternated the shelves. So about 10 minutes on each shelf. Um, they are browner because of the allulose. So that is understandable. Just listening to them talk about allulose browning, but they are dry. Like, all right. So what I'm gonna do now is put them in the um, um, blender and blend them because I don't have a food processor, so I'm just gonna use this. Alrighty, y'all. I'm finally home. Uh, it's 8.15. I have long nights and I'm tired. Nope, put it, flip it. Um, we are gonna close the vlog here. We are just now getting ready for movie night. Um, I have to do some YouTube work. And uh, this is the only time I can get it done is when I am home at Lake Jack. So I'm giving this YouTube, um, no, oh, YouTube. I'm giving this um, vegan cheese sauce another go. Put a few extra things in there. That one, that one. Um, we have our breadcrumbs here that I still have to breadcrumb. And will you put some in my coffee, please? Some creamer. So I had to pick up a few things from the grocery store on my uh, stock up haul. Oh, it doesn't matter. And uh, really it doesn't matter. So I'm giving this vegan cheese sauce another world. I was able to find, um, next time go behind please. Cause if you hit something here, yes. that would be a problem for you. Um some so delicious which is the uh coconut usually the coconut line had a vegan cheese had a plant-based cheese let me just say a plant-based cheese at walmart so i picked up a couple of those and then i went to um Walmart uh hair cedar and they actually had a plant-based cheese in the simple truth line so we're gonna give it a whirl i don't know if any of it will be good we just gonna give it a try to see. Um, I'm using the So Delicious one. It's, it's not the easiest to melt, but I have it on a very low heat. I'll show you. So I'm making that cheese sauce again, and then we're frying up some uh, wraps. The, um, those are the smaller ones. The carb balance wraps. Let's do one more. Oh, finish those out. Yeah, let's finish those out. And then we'll use that with the cheese sauce. Um, I am finally having cream in my coffee. And here's our waffles. We made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because Jackson ate one. So that um, recipe from Carnivore Angel made nine mini waffles from the dash which it only took a, a half a cup of the protein power flour. So we got these all uh, done so that we can pulverize those to make more of the power flour so I can do a few more recipes. But anywho, there it is, you guys. Closing out the vlog. I'm tired, but I still got to work. So anywho, there it is. If you liked the video, be sure and thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Oh. Don't forget the knives. There'll be a link for the knives in the description box below. Check them out. If you feel like there'll be something that would be a great addition to your kitchen, go right ahead and do all the things. I'm loving it in my kitchen. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.